Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In today's video, we will talk about the interquartile range. Last time, we have uploaded a video with regards to the quartiles of ungrouped data. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, what is the formula in calculating the interquartile range of ungrouped data? And here's the formula. We have here the IQR or your interquartile range is equal to the upper quartile or third quartile minus the lower quartile or the first quartile. So I have here two given data set wherein the first data set it has an even, has an odd number of elements, wherein our set B is a given data set wherein the number of elements or the, the number of elements of this given data set is an even number. So let's have the first one. In set A, we have 15, 19, 23, 25, 37, 39, and 43. First, you need to arrange the given data set, but in this give two given data set, in arrange natin siya in ascending order from the least to greatest value. So we have your one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven elements in set A. So, sir, how are we going to find or how are we going to solve for the interquartile range given this data set? Since the number of data set or elements is an odd number. Basically, we need to find first your median or quartile number two. So if we have seven elements, the median is the fourth element. So we have here one, two, three, and four. Your fourth element natin, this is your quartile two. So we solve for the quartile two because we need to find the quartile three and quartile one for us to be able to, you know, to solve for the interquartile range. And since this is your median, we have here the lower half and the upper half of your given data set. And to find your Q1 or quartile one, get the average or the median of your lower half. The median of your lower half, since this is one, two, and three, is 19. This is your lower quartile again this is your lower half since you have one two and three elements get the middle of these three elements and that is 19 that will be your quartile number one and for quartile number two the man for quartile number three or upper quartile go to the upper half of your given data set which is 37 39 and 40 and it also has three elements and one two and three the second element here in your upper half is your third quartile. This is quartile number three. Since we already obtained the value of your quartile number three and quartile number one, we are ready to use this formula. So you have your IQR or interquartile range is equal to the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Substitute the formula, you have your upper quartile, which is 39. So you have here 39 minus your lower quartile, which is 19, definitely your interquartile range is equal to 20. This is the interquartile range of the first given data set. So I hope na nakikita niyo yung process natin on how to calculate for the interquartile range of a given data set. So let's move on to item number two. We have your set B. For set B, the elements are 1, 11, 15, 19, 20, 24, 28, 34, 37, 47, 50, and 57. And count the number of elements. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. We have even number of elements in set B. So first thing you need to do again is to find your median or your quartile number 2. So since we have 12 elements, the median is between the 6th and 7th. Again, 6th and 7th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 
and 7. And your median here, you have 24 and 28. Simply add 24. Okay, where's my eraser? Simply add 24 plus 28 and then divide it by 2. And 24 plus 28 is simply 52, right? 52 divided by 2. That will give you 26. Meaning, your quartile number 2 is 26. That is the median of your given data set. And 26 is your median. This is your lower half and your upper half. Meaning, you can solve for the Q1 and Q2, the Q3. So in Q number 3, we have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? We have 6 elements because 24 is not included. We have your 26, diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Since we have here 6 elements in the lower half, the middle part or the median of the lower half is between the third and the fourth. Again, the third and the fourth. This is the third and fourth. Meaning, this is the location of your Q1, in which you have 15 and 19. When you add them, 15 plus 19 divided by 2, this will give you 34 over 2, and that is equal to 17. Okay? So again, I'll explain it again. To get your quartile number 1, or the half of your lower median, you have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 6 elements. So the median of the 6 element is between the 3rd and 4th, and 15 is your 3rd, and this is your 4th. Get the, the average of 15 and 19, and that will give you 17. This is your quartile number 1. Same thing with quartile number 3. We also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 elements here. That's why um, that is between... 37 and 47. This is your quartile number 3. And adding them, 37 plus 47 over 2, that will give you 84 divided by 2. And your quartile number 3 is definitely 40. Okay, right? This is 70, 84, 40, 42. Okay, we have here 42. In your acting quartile number three. And going back with our formula, we have here interquartile range is equal to Q1, IQR, IQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1, in which your Q number three is 42. You have here 42 minus 17. Okay? 22, uh, 42 minus 17, that will give you. The answer of 25. This is your IQR. So I hope na you can still remember and you learn something from this video with regards to solving the interquartile range of a given ungrouped data. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye.